investigation by Daily Post around various markets found that booms are now sold between 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira respectively. A trip to Marian Mika, Watts Markets, Mbukba Markets and others in the state indicated a shortage of brooms as traders said they had no brooms in stock. The scarcity of brooms in the state may not be unconnected to the massive wave of defections to APC, which just hit the state. A source from APC told a correspondent that the scarcity could be as a result of thousands of brooms taken to the central senatorial district for those defecting from the PDP to APC. A broom dealer in the Merriam market said, This is the first time our business is moving. I have ordered for a thousand from our Aquaibom state for this weekend. If it continues, I have no regrets doing this business. Everything has time according to the scriptures. And this is our time to smile. May God help us, he stated. He stated, confirming the scarcity, the publicity secretary of APC, Bassett, it has said that scarcity of group, which is APC symbol, has hit Cross River as millions of enthusiastic Cross Riverians continue to join the party in solidarity with the visionary and people-oriented governor. To address the change, the party ordered 3 million bundles of brooms from local suppliers to meet the growing demand. It is no longer news that the broom revolution has since hit our dear state following the defection of our amiable governor to our party. But what is now the news is that broom scarcity has hit Cross River following growing demand for it as millions of our people continue to identify with the party. He told Daily Post via phone on Monday. The question is that why are they joining the party? That is why suffering, eh? And, and the question is that eh, if people does if does it mean if somebody is is not educated, does it mean the person does not have wisdom? Does education has to do with wisdom? I don't understand. That is why you see these politicians, they know the people because they have kept the people there for a very long time they have deceived the people you know when you are being deceived over and over again or for a very long time you begin to see that deceit as the truth nature of things they have weaponized the, the environment they do they have made people not to think deeply they are always making people to just like you know think about that immediate situation not knowing the effect of what they are doing and that is what is causing all of these things the other day we saw a lot of people decamping thousands of people decamping from a APC so PDP again, and this were the same set of people that from the PDP they all moved in their large numbers to APC. They were enjoy, they were praising themselves. Now they have decamped back again to PDP in Quara State, and they were burning, they were burning those brooms in Quara State, and now see what is happening here. People are just they are just tossing people here and there, tossing people here and there. Even in the so-called developed countries, a lot of people do not even understand what is happening there. Most of their citizens too, not to talk of, you know, if some of them can see be behaving the way they are behaving in those called developed countries. Because when you hear, when you see some people or you hear them speak, you'll be wondering that with the level of a civilization, we still have some set of people who are like this. Yes. So if those people can be in that environment, then what do you now think of environments where there's no substance? There's no substance at all. What do you think? These are the kind of things you get. Everybody does. I don't know. I don't understand. It is not the APC that has brought untold hardship. Maybe they have shared how many, how many whatever to them. And people just say, I go I won't get to. If I can't hold ground now, say this and this and we help. We help. Even if I criticize the government, if I do this and that, we help. And meanwhile, see economy. If uh, insecurity has not even hit you in your own environment, there is nobody in this country, every nook and crane in this country, that the economy has not hit so badly. The question I'm always asking because they will tell you, oh, it is COVID-19, COVID-19. Other countries that, they, that are more, that they were affected more when it comes to this issue of COVID-19. I mean, I didn't hear that uh, they, they devalued their Naira. I didn't see that uh, they are this, you know, because they had surplus in in their reserve and they even helps a lot of people which help did we get here they will not be telling you it is a 
Oh, since uh, the COVID-19, this and this and that. Even before COVID-19, go, what happened? I mean, why we were not affected with this COVID-19 in Nigeria? Even as we speak, some countries are still battling with uh, the new variants or no new variants. So what are we talking about? They are, if, if you have not been hit with uh, this uh, insecurity in your area, which I doubt, but there's one thing that you cannot even deny, the economy. See, see, see the rates at which things are expensive in this country. See, the level of poverty is alarming. And you see people see flocking around. And that's why these people have this, that confidence. The politicians, they have confidence, yeah. They will have confidence that say, yes, nothing they happen, forget it. Is it not these people? They know how to do, to, to, to share nonsense for them. Now, broom is now scarce. It is now, eh, 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 what's it? Some people are happy about. Well, like they always say that uh, people deserve the kind of leaders they get. They deserve it. Broom that we sweep Emperor Ayade and gang away come 2023. Someone said that is my prophecy. It's a matter of time. I saw it. Look at poor reasoning of APC leaders wasting Nigeria money for many, uh, many less things. Why won't be? Why then? Why won't there be hunger in the land? Can I bring a broom to Riverside? Like the saying goes, everything that has disadvantages also has little advantage. APC have so many disadvantages to the nation, but have one advantage to broom seller in Cross River State. I beg. Make I start broom business in Cross River. If you try, I'm hungry, go kill you. The number where they talk plenty past our population. We okay, we be say now fake news. A leader trusted by his people. That is the all mark of purposeful. And uh hey, -huh. now only Mola go can't talk for this kind of thing. Now you know, say Ide now the leader way good for 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 your own state. No, say good for your own state. A purposeful and pragmatic leadership. Wherever he went, his people follow him. Hmm, you are dreaming. What do you know about Cross River State policies? They are different species and have no respect for scammers like Ayade. No employment, but there is money to buy brooms. What a shame. I trust my people. They will just use it as firewood. Thank God for rainy season is here. How persons make the entire population of Cross River State? How many persons? Okay. Which kind of a lie news today? How many people come day for the old states? Okay, three million. <laughs> like play, like play. Ayade is taking rivers to APC finally. Rubbish news. He no get many. Ayade is a Yahoo boy. Hello. Ayade go soon cry. The broom will soon uh, cake and dry up and break. And those who are having it now will forget about it. Perhaps may be used to sweep the owners away from their position. It is a matter of time. Three million defectors. How many names are in INEC, INEC list and the total population of the city? That is how they ban figure for themselves. That's it. 